Hiya, I'm Karima, the lead ranger for Birdaware Salent, and I'm here today to share my top tips for beginners bird watchers. So, my first top tip if you want to start bird watching is to get yourself a pair of binoculars. Um, there's lots of guides online to help you get started. Have a go at using them in your garden to start with. There's a few little things to watch out for. You've got the zoom button on the top to change the focus, but you can also change the focus individually for each eye using the twisty part on one of the eye pieces. So have a look online, have a go in your garden and then bring them out with you. You will find that they come with lens covers on both the top and bottom eye pieces. Take those off, you're not going to need those because you're going to be using them. There's a case, you will want to keep it in the case in your car or in your bag, but as soon as you get out where you want to start bird watching, put them around the neck on a nice fairly short strap so that you can lift them up to your eyes really quickly because what you don't want is to see a bird and then spend five minutes faffing around trying to get your binoculars out. It will look off by now. There's a nice cormorant on top of the poster. One of the other top tips I've picked up with binoculars is if you keep your eyes on the bird that you're looking at, don't take your eyes off the bird and then lift the binoculars up to your eyes. That's the best way of finding the birds in the binoculars. My next top tip is to be patient. Unless you're really lucky, you're unlikely to see a puffin or a kingfisher on your first venture out bird watching. So just be patient and just observe whatever birds you see around you. Even just watching the pigeons can be a really good start for a beginner bird watcher. Um, just observing their different colour markings and observing their behaviour and their habits, that's how you'll become more and more familiar with them. My next top tip is to scan all the different areas and horizons that you can see around you. So we've got the grassy area um, around us, you might see little birds feeding in the grass. And just over here, we've got some hedges um, and small trees. And then there's a field and the hedges over there. So you wanna check all these different places. Behind we've got the houses, you could be looking up on the rooftops and in the tops of some of the distant trees, I can already see some crows over there from a distance. Um, and on this side, we've got the pebble shore. You could see different birds feeding in the seaweed on the shore. And then right along the water's edge, um, we've got, you might see different birds feeding along the water's edge there. Then you've got this, the sea itself and you want to be looking out on the water and scanning around as much as you can. Some of the birds on the water will actually dive under and then come back up again. So it's, you want to have a bit of patience just to keep scanning the water. And then don't forget you want to be looking up in the sky as well to see what birds you can see up and around you. Oh, we've got lots of lovely birds already. So I can see a curly, four brent geese and a little egret just along the water's edge over this side. And down here along the water's edge, I can see quite a few oyster catches um, and there's some more feeding in the shingle. And then right out on the water over there, there's a swan. So it's useful to get used to describing where you're seeing a bird so you can point it out to others or others might want to point out birds to you. So the easiest way of doing that is to choose a landmark and then to describe the bird from that landmark's position. So you might want to say, you see the tall block of flats on the other side of the water there. If you come down directly, um, and it's about halfway between the water's edge and the island. Things like that is a useful way for describing where birds are. And you might find other people describing birds in that way to you, so that's really helpful. My next top tip is to join a guided walk or a local group. If you look up, um, the RSPB has a lot of local groups um, and there's lots of really experienced bird watchers that go on these walks that are really keen to share their knowledge with you. Obviously, when you're starting out by yourself, it can be a little bit overwhelming trying to learn so many different new bird species by yourself. And of course, at Bird Aware Salient, we run a number of guided walks and virtual online talks. So why not have a look at the events section of our website and join us for our next walk or talk. My next top tip is to get yourself a good bird book. And it's really handy at this stage to try and find a book that just shows you the birds of Britain. You'll notice there's also a lot of books out there that show you the birds of Britain and Europe. But obviously it's covering such a bigger area, it's just going to bamboozle you with loads of species that you're not necessarily going to see. The Bird Aware Salent website is also a really good resource. We've got an about the bird section and it shows you all the birds you can see most days around the Salent coast. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my top tips for starting out as a bird watcher. Do check out our website for more information and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from us.